Hey everyone, TTT here. Let's continue with new lessons. Oh, and also, as you can see, our town has changed a bit. It has become autumn, and the music has changed as well. Which is pretty nice. Welcome to lesson 17. Six more kanji characters. I wonder if there's gonna be another increase in the amount we'll get each lesson. But for now, just six. Kuni. Country. Kuni for Konyomi and Koku for Onyomi, written with eight strokes. The shape of Kuni looks like a Tori gate a famous Japanese icon on a flag. When you see a Tori gate, you think about the country it's from. That's not usually what I think when I see a Tori gate, but alright. Sono. Park or garden, sono for konyomi or en for onyomi, written with 13 strokes. The shape of en contains the kanji tsuchi for earth or soil. You can imagine a fence surrounding lots of soil is a garden. That somewhat makes sense, admittedly. Meadow, plain or origin. Hara for Konyomi or Gen for Onyomi, written with 10 strokes. The shape of Hara looks like a cliff overlooking a meadow or field. Next kanji. No. Field or wild, no for konyomi or ya for onyomi, written with 11 strokes. The shape of ya contains the kanji den for rice field. You can imagine rice growing in the wild field. Tani. Valley, tani, uh, tani for konomi or koku for onyomi, written with seven strokes. I'm surprised we didn't have that earlier along with mountain. And the shape of tani looks like a house surrounded by a valley. Next one. Ground. No konyomi the same, and chi or ji for onyomi, written with six strokes. The shape of ji looks like a person using a plow on the ground. And there we go, that's the lesson. Yes, Chris. English meaning of tani. Valley, Onyomi reading of wild, yeah, Konyomi reading of garden, uh, Sono, English meaning of G, ground. Kanji for the meaning meadow, Hara. And the correct kanji for the meaning country, Goku. And that's the quiz done. Let's see what awaits us now. You know, I've been thinking. Ever since we met Masakuni in the Obake world, the Obake appearing around here has have been less frequent. Hmm, you're right. We haven't had any invaders for some time. 
because they were, were in a different place, I assume. Yeah, I have to admit, I've been letting my guard down. Guys, usually when we say stuff like this, monsters come out and attack us. Maybe we should keep the monsters' discussion on the dome low. Oops, good call. They should attack any minute now. No sign of them. Huh, weird. Do you actually seem disappointed? Well, you know, it seems like it's the first time I've been wrong about monsters or bosses appearing. Well, there's always tomorrow. Yeah, thanks, Wei. We're back. Oh, Hana and Puya, how did you go? How did you go? No luck. Amune is nowhere to be found. We've searched as far as we can. I guess she took off for good. I can't find any of her belongings either. Well, I don't blame her. If she really was working with Masakuni, she must have predicted we'd figure her out. Still, I can't help but think she was caught up in this unwillingly. We don't know that for sure. Sometimes people can surprise you. I suppose. Anyway, Hana-sensei, do you want to tell them the other piece of news? Hmm? Oh yes, thanks Puya. We found a cave, just on the outskirts of town. Normally I do wonder how we missed such an interesting place. But let me guess, now you don't think it's weird that such a place could just appear out of nowhere. That's right, the cave has most definitely come from the Obake world. Great. Do you think it's safe to explore? Or are we just inviting more danger? Our theory is that, we don't that if we don't clear out the Obake living there, they'll invade our town sooner or later. So you want to get the upper hand, right? Well, I'm in. Shubins and I are itching to kick butt. And that's the idea anyway. Are you all with us? Armin, we won't stop anything just sitting here. Let's get it done. I'm looking forward to flexing my intellect. I don't know what we're what talking about, but I'm in the mood to kick some baddies. Then it's settled. To the cave. Onwards. To the cave. Obake Cabin, Obake no Dokutsu. Locate the exit. And we'll beat up some Obake on the way there. Well, they didn't exactly get any weaker, at least. We now have significantly less answers, so it will be easier than before. So first off, we have Field of Wild. That is No Oya. No. Natsu, Summer. Natsu. And Hara. Meadow. Hara. I don't really like the fact that they only attacked Puya though. Let's heal her up. And erase the poison. Kodachi. Who, who uses swords again? I think that's me. Priya yeah. also uses swords, but she uses... Oh, she has those daggers? Hmm. Well, anyway. First we have Fia, no. Wild. Uh, listen. Ki. Boom. Natsu, Sama. And end park. Which is there. Sono. Hmm. 
And Priya got poisoned again. Alright, let's see. Yep, Kodachi is for me. Short sword used by Samurai. For more of this, we can handle that easily. Fortunately, they all outpace us. Okay, first off is Hara, Meadow. Koe, Voice. Uh, where was that? Up there. Sure. Kumo, Cloud. Yeah. And to ground G. G. Let's do a full party heal this time. Why so? A calligraphy brush. At once for Hana Sensei. This lever looks somewhat unfitting, in my opinion. You hear a clanking sound in the distance. Perhaps a new path has opened. Already oh, was there. Huh. Looks like some spikes were lowered. First off, we have in park, in. then Aki autumn, shoes, and finally we have wild here. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, what's that one? Ah, so. No. Wait, oh. That was close. Alright, first off we have Kuni Country. Hook. G ground. G. Anashi. Speak. Bah. And Ki. Listen. Ki. And Aki Autumn. Shoes. That was a fairly close call. A bow shuriken. What weapon does Elliot use? Ah, okay, that's for him. A pointed spike intended for swelling. Alright, I think Hana Tensei just uh, learned a group here. Doesn't heal full, but it's decent enough. Kai Uncham, that's for Frederick, who's currently not in our party. Speaking of which, the affection growth rate in this particular game is really slow. Like, I think the only one that's at three hearts currently is Hana Sensei. It 
might be because all of the enemies instantly die in one hit. G ground. At least if a faction works the same way as in the previous game with one affection point per hit. Yup, ground. Uh, wild. No. Key, listen. Whoa. Hanashi, story. Hanashi. And Aki, autumn. There's another lever. Let's pull it. Although that was more like pushing it. Let's have another heal. We should be just about done with this cave, at least I would presume so. So, ah, uh, and more poison. All right, first off, yeah, wild. No. Natsu, summer. Natsu. And an park. In. Done. Uh, let's heal and waste the poison. Hmm, I like the staircase. Looks nice. I can hear something coming towards us. Uh oh, we're in trouble. Uh, just a boss or three. We've dealt with more of them before. Ha, huh, you missed. Actually, was that the first time one of them missed? I don't recall one of them missing before. G, ground. Aki, autumn. Shoes. Uh, go. Language. Hata. Tani, valley. Tani. And park. And Haru Spring. Haru. Total Lunar Glow. Guess there wasn't anything to learn here after all. Still, it wasn't a waste of time if we prevented the Obaki from going stronger. That's true. Shall we head back for today? Yes, let's do that. Well, that was ultimately rather uneventful. But it was a rather fun expedition. Ah, and I see we did advance to Sweetheart to someone else. Sure. You again, come to bother me more. Sorry, I shouldn't hassle you like that. You've helped me out more than enough times, so I, I apologize. Uh, do you miss your home? If you do, I can't blame you. It sounds like everyone here is homesick. I feel so odd being the only one that doesn't want to return. Uh, look, since you've been so nice to me, can I share something with you? I feel like you might get what I'm going through, more than Frederick would anyway. I... I kind of had no choice but to come to Japan. Things back at, back at home aren't great for me. Dad left a few years ago. I haven't heard from him in so long. 
after he left, my mother got a new boyfriend. He's a real piece of work. He hates my guts. <laughs> Usually it's the other way around, but that's really unfortunate as well. He moved into the house and is always yelling at my mother or my brother. He's such an angry person. Anyway, I finished school last year. It was hell, by the way. I never fit in there. Everyone teased me because dad walked out on our family. When school finished, my mother's boyfriend kicked me out of the house. He said I'm old enough now to find a job and get my own apartment. <laughs> I have no objection to finding a job, but it's hard when you don't have a roof over your head. I stayed with friends here and there, but... Something needed to change. When I saw this competition to come to Japan, I jumped at the opportunity. So yeah, here we are. When I go back, I'm going to have to face up to myself. I'm going to have to find a place to live and get a job. But for now, I don't need to worry about it, and that's kind of nice. Even if I have to fight to stay alive here. Your bond with Elliot has grown stronger. Anyone else? Let's take a look. Nope, only Elliot. Alright then. Let's end it here and go for more lessons next time. So until then, bye bye!